please don't wear your Apple Watch with formal wear. You look like a spy kid. What I love about it is that it tells time. <laughs> we all have a festive cocktail. This goes with a festive cocktail, I feel like. The watch that I brought in today is uh, my newest watch and it is my daily. It is the Apple Watch Ultra. Something about the durability, just the rugged style. I just like a big chunky watch. Five years ago I went Apple Watch and I haven't gone back because I'm kind of addicted to the constant stream of information that I'm getting from this thing. The reason why the Ultra caught my eye was First off, I'm a sucker for a pop orange. This guy has a special button on the side here. You can program it to do whatever. I have it set to my activity app, so when I'm working out, when I'm on the trail, I'll hit that and it'll record what I need it to do. It's got a titanium case. While it is pretty big, it is light. I think it's got a 100 meter depth rating, so you can wear this thing diving up to 100 meters. It has a GPS built in, like you can track your location, you can get weather data, all that without having cell service. I can actually take calls, reply to texts, like do all that from the watch and I can just leave the phone. It's got titanium hardware, even on the band. The, the customization of the faces. This one in particular has this really rad kind of like explorer look to it. Really all of the gear that I buy kind of has that red thread going through it, which is all kind of out doors centric. So this is like the perfect marriage of technology, utility, and for me personally, style. I think I have four or five different bands that work for this. So this is the one I bought it with. I think this is the Alpine Loop. I got that one in a different color also, just to like tone it down, you know, and I didn't want to go full blaze orange. Also, I believe this one is the Trail Loop by Apple, especially sweaty situations like this band by Nomad. Smart watches, I think are polarizing, but really at the end of the day, it comes down to functionality for me. This gives me way more information than my analog watches. Uh, I wouldn't wear this with like formal wear. I think just my lifestyle, I'm not, you know, if I was a businessman wearing suits to work every day, I'd probably not be daily driving this thing. So today I'm here to talk about my Garmin Phoenix 6S. Track my heart rate, track my pace, um, and not only for running, but for, uh, you know, a plethora of activities, whether it be rock climbing, biking, swimming, um, I kind of wanted that one watch that could just do it all. So one of the features I love about the watch is that it basically takes a holistic approach. Um, it takes your sleep, it takes your resting heart rate, your heart rate variability, just to track you know, how you're recovering, what's going on during your activity, off activity, all of that's super important as you're training just to you know, maximize performance and make sure you're you know, really efficient with how you train. Just go ahead and start by selecting a trail run here, doing that, doing start, stop and then saving the activity so after going for a run it'll sync automatically um, i can see yesterday's run is here what i love about it is you can see exactly where you went so you can see your pace throughout each mile that you did and you can see you know obviously on a map as well so you know exactly where you were how far you went the calories you burned how long it took you and then even your split so it goes into all these other things like cadence your stride length um, all of that's logged here in the app. At first, I could definitely feel like it was a heavy watch, but after wearing it for a year, I can definitely feel like it, it just doesn't even feel like it's there anymore. These are the bands that come with the watch. So some people prefer the Velcro strap. So I wear this watch every day. Uh, I take a shower with it. I uh, go to sleep in it. So this is pretty much always on 24 seven, unless I'm charging it. Uh, the really nice thing is it's, it has a pretty robust battery life. I'm probably charging this thing uh, maybe once a week. It depends really on how much I'm using it. I like things that take care of me and not things that I have to take care of. Uh, so this definitely fits that, you know, that buying purchase or that buying habit. I was sitting right there, but now I'm sitting right here to talk about the crown jewel of my watch collection, which has become my favorite, is the Timex T80. I was initially drawn to this watch because um, I have a gold wedding band on. I got married last fall. My wife has now encouraged me to start wearing more gold. Um, she thinks that I look very handsome in gold. This is something that has the appearance of something that's expensive, but is actually really affordable. This is a $65 watch, also very nostalgic to me. I used to have these watches when I was a kid that was, I think the brand was called Shark or something like, like it was a shark fin, freestyle, freestyle. Had like a shark fin. 
and but they all had and I would get them like before summer camp because you'd wear them while swimming and but they all had this they all had the in the glow light up little date and time uh, action I believe there's a stopwatch on it as well but I haven't really messed around with it all that much what's nice about the color though is I think it's just kind of like it's this kind of brushed on the bracelet the shine is sort of limited to the outside of the face here the, in the case for all intents and purposes like this is kind of a dorky watch like it's you know it has everything but a calculator on it if I add more things to my watch collection at a lower price point I feel like I'm gonna be able to do a better job of calibrating and figuring out what it is that I like to wear on my wrist, one, and two, kind of like identifying and figuring out what my style of watch is so that at some point, informing what it is that I would want out of more of an investment piece. You can kind of style it as something that's like a bit of like a statement item. If you're wearing like a print shirt and you're on vacation, it kind of has one look and then you can wear it with kind of a more understated sweater, something along those lines, and then it just kind of blends in a little bit. So I think if you like to have fun with what you wear in general, like this is like about as fun as it gets. For show and tell, uh, I wanted to bring in my uh, Zodiac Super Seawolf automatic watch. It was a gift from my wife on our wedding day. You know, love Zodiac as a brand. Uh, it's been around for since the 1880s, I believe, so 100 some years old. Anything that's been around for over 100 years is A plus in my book. You know, it, it's it's sort of understated. It's got it's got some personality, some flair, but not like office space, Chotsky's 13 points of, of flair style. So yeah, the, the other thing I like about this watch, you know, other than it being like the sort of timeless and classic design, is uh, it, the the durability. Right, it has a 200 meter uh, water resistance to it. So in theory, I can go diving with it, no problem. Uh, it's something I can bring on a trip. Right, if I'm going to, to New York City on business or, or with friends, I know it'll be at home and in any kind of environment. So like again, that crossover, that 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 versatility for me is really nice. So I don't really have to think about it. It has a decent amount of heft to it. It's not like too heavy and bulky, but it, it's got it's got some good weight to it. You know, you're wearing it. It feels sturdy. Fairly simple face at the end of the day. It's not. There's not too many bells and whistles on it. I really love the blue. I think the blue. It's like a darker, but still has that like like noticeable brightness to it. So it pairs really well with with brown, obviously. So you know the brown strap. And as you can see, I've been wearing the wearing the crap out of this thing. And time to time to get a new one. For guys, a lot of times a watch like, is your one or two points of style, right? That really can say something about you. My advice would be to get just to get one watch. And for me, this is you know the Zodiac Sea Wolf is 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 that for me, which is sort of it's it's versatile. I can wear it on a date. I can wear it in a formal environment, a casual environment. It kind of works well uh, across the board. Hey guys, it's me, Matt again usually sitting there, but I'm sitting here right now to thank you guys for continuing to watch Gear Lab. Uh, you can continue to support us by liking and subscribing. So if you have any burning questions about gear or ideas for future episodes, make sure you hit us up in the comments. And until then, thank you for your continued support. We'll see you out there.